Hello to everybody. Hope you are all doing fabulous. Uh, you are on Ask Doc Live. My name is Rebecca Kozak. I will be your host for the next two hours. And if you are on live with us today, we do have the chat option turned on. So in your Zoom menu, you can click chat and it'll show all the valuable information that will or is being shared with in the meeting, throughout the meeting, um, by our co-hosts, Jonti McCallier, Nasima Omar, and Ruth Ellen Sanchez. Now, I do want to remind you, if you're on with us live, there is no solicitation or advertising within this chat. Our co-hosts are beautiful people, and they're here to maintain the integrity of the show. So if we do see any type of solicitation, you will be removed from, from our live presentation. Now, the content of this program is to provide educational information only on the importance of nutrition and supplementation. Food supplies around the world are empty and void of what the body needs, not just to survive, but actually thrive. And in this program, we will be sharing nutritional options that are available to fill those gaps through supplementation in a form that the body can actually utilize and absorb. Now the FDA does require us to let you know that our products are not meant to treat, prevent, diagnose, or cure any disease. This program is not meant to take the place of your primary care physician, but our good doctor, Dr. Joel Wallach, has been instrumental in suing this fine FDA with a vic with nine victories and these victories have led to the addition of vital nutrients into foods and allowing the distribution of information proven by science to be factual in the essential need of supplementation against disease we also bring to you the news that the genetic theory has been proven incorrect through the science of epigenetics which is the study of how your own behaviors and the things in your environment can cause changes that affect the way that your genes work. Now with epigenetics, you are an empowered individual and have more control over your health journey than you think. Some communities don't want you to think that you have any power and that you have to rely on them, but you have it within you and the information that we share with you on this program helps to support your ability to be empowered. Any testimonials on this program are totally voluntary, not scheduled, and they are using products that have been recommended by our Dr. Joel Wallet. Now to guide us, we are so honored to have one of the founding fathers of epigenetics here to share the best options to obtain or maintain optimal health. Dr. Joel Wallach. Welcome, Dr. Wallach. Well, good morning, Rebecca and team. Thank you so much for the, uh, for the presence and all the great things you do. And of course, um, when it comes to uh, defeating the, the um, misinformation when it came to genetics, that didn't just you know, come out of a dream. Uh, actually, it was a $25 million grant. It was my second uh, postdoctoral fellowship, um, $25 million. And um, I was able to do 20,000 autopsies, 17,000 some change on over 454 species of zoo animals and 3,000 humans. And the purpose of the study was to find a canary in the mine, so to speak, uh, in, in the zoos in the big cities around the world. Uh, because during those days, uh, uh, 1967 to 1977, a 10-year study, um, it, it was uh, everything had to do with pollution. And of course, the canary in the mine, everybody who knows about coal mining uh, knew that the, all the people who all over the world who did coal mining would take a little cage with a canary in it down in the mine with them. And if gases were to escape into the mine, uh, that were bad, the canaries would drop off the perch and die and they knew to get out. So they didn't do the same thing. And so the whole idea was to find several species or one species of zoo animals uh, from all over the world in the big city zoos. It was sensitive to the same pollutants that humans were. And if they began to get sick or die, we knew to evacuate the cities to save 
the people. So that's the whole purpose of the thing. And, but what I got is a side benefit, which turned out to be the greater benefit was that there are no genetically transmitted diseases. All the diseases said to be genetic are really just simple nutritional deficiency diseases. And of course, um, <laughs> that uh, got me fired from the Yerkes Primate Center in Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. I was a pathologist for NASA back then. And um, I ran into the first uh, case of cystic fibrosis, supposed to be the classic example of a genetic disease in humans. And I found the first case in monkeys and um, got it um, uh, agreed upon that it was cystic fibrosis. And I, now I didn't tell them that the slides are from a monkey. I just said, I think that these slides illustrate um, cystic fibrosis, you know, from an autopsy that I did. Uh, what do you think? And they all, all the medical school, I think I sent it to five medical schools, and they all sent back letters, a uh, classic example of cystic fibrosis. And I told them it was, a, it was a monkey, not a human. And at the very least, we had a, a, um, a laboratory animal, okay, that we could study cystic fibrosis. Oh, they, they, they were so excited that we had a non-human case of cystic fibrosis that we could study it and find out how to treat it. Well, it turns out that there was a couple of environmentalists uh, who didn't like the monkeys being in cages and they're picking their hair because they had nothing else to do. So they took away their monkey pellets, all the vitamins and minerals in it, and gave them bananas and carrots and apples and beans and things like that. And of course, they were nutritionally deficient and they got uh, cystic fibrosis. Now, there were 24 other baby monkeys in that colony. So I got permission to do, before they fired me, I, I um, got permission to do biopsies and the other 24 monkeys. Sure enough, they all had cystic fibrosis. That freaked everybody out. And that's when they fired me. And I went, that's when I went back to school and became a naturopathic physician. Okay. Well, that information that I published um, uh, was 5,000 pages. Okay. And it turned out to be a, a great a book. It's called Diseases of Exotic Animals. Uh, W.B. Saunders was the classic example of a, a publishing company for um, textbooks. And they bought the rights to that book. Uh, they called it Diseases of Exotic Animals. They initially published 90,000 copies and they sold them in 30 days at $25,000 each. They sold them for 25. I didn't get much of that. Okay. But uh, they sold them for $25,000 each. Then they reprinted them again and sold them for $25,000 each. It's called Diseases of Exotic Animals. Um, and go, you know, go look it up on on Siri or someplace else, are there any um, of Dr. Wallach's books, Diseases of Exotic Animals available for sale? And they'll give you some that are on, you know, some, some doctor or researcher died and the family's trying to sell that book and they'll sell it. If they're beat up, they'll sell them for 1500 or $2,000. If they're in fair condition, they'll sell them for 3000 to $6,000. If they're in good condition, they'll sell them from 6000 to $12,000. If they're still in the box, Un, you know, wrapped and never been opened, they'll sell them for $25,000 to $35,000. Diseases of exotic animals. Very, very proud of that study. And um, that started the whole science of epigenetics. And so very, very proud of that. We have the book Epigenetics, that's available. And you can go to www.drjwallock.com, www.drjwallock.com and get the book Epigenetics. There's actually a CD that goes along with it. And you'll be amazed at what we know about these diseases that are said to be genetic that are not, okay? And then uh, you have to appreciate that um, uh, also other things happened. Suddenly, uh, my last lawsuit, we were able to get the FDA to force the manufacturers of baby formulas to put this one nutrient into baby formulas, which they, I've been trying for 25 years. Medical doctor, oh, it's poisonous. You can't put that nutrient in there. And They'll kill the babies. And so they didn't do it for 25 years. Well, finally, um, we got the FDA to force the manufacturers of baby formulas like Infamil and Similac to put this mineral in there. And sure enough, um, within a year, suddenly now there's all this front page newspaper stories. We don't know why, but sudden death syndrome has disappeared. Okay. We don't know why, but cystic fibrosis has disappeared. We don't know why, but muscarosity has disappeared. Well, cystic fibrosis is gone. Um, sudden death syndrome disappeared and we had muscular dystrophy. We gave a bunch of charts from kids who had been diagnosed at birth with muscular dystrophy by biopsy, classic examples. And then, uh, you know, at age 12, 15, 20, 
they were on our program and um, their musculosity went away. So we gave those charts to Jerry Lewis and the, and the uh, telethon and they fired Jerry Lewis because he wanted to make it available, that information available to everybody. And the telethon and the musculosity association fired Jerry Lewis. Now he had raised $2 billion for them, but they fired him because they knew if he went around saying, well, it's just a simple nutritional deficiency, take these nutrients, and you won't have to worry about it anymore in your family because it's not genetic, that uh, suddenly now the, the, um, uh, the telethon and the Muscovy Association would be a non-entity. Well, that's what happened because they, he, they made a big deal out of it and they fired Jerry Lewis um, saying that, you know, he's out of his mind and all that kind of stuff. And so um, it's one of those things where uh, science marches ahead as quickly as the truth is available. Okay, I'll say it that way. And it's one of those things where uh, it comes down to everything from physical stuff like muscularity to biochemical stuff um, uh, like um, emotions, depression. And of course, right now we have a lot of depression going on uh, because you know people can't gather uh, churches are restricting how many people can show up. They have to be like 10 seats between each person, mask on. And, as, you know, it's not like church anymore. It's not like temple anymore. Okay. And so it's one of those things where uh, people are having to adjust and they don't like it. Um, we actually have a two CD set, uh, which is available. And finally, we got them uh, made. They're actually the soundtrack off of two Zooms that I did in Texas with two of our great distributors. Um, and these zooms go into um, what what the pandemic was doing to churches and church families, and so the these two soundtracks off of these two zooms are put them into one package. It's a, a, a two CD set called Health Crisis in the Church. The CD number one, CD number two is Health Crisis in the Church in America, and it'll blow your mind. You know what we knew. Uh, back then, uh, almost two years ago now. And finally, we got it all done and they're available. We're shipping them like crazy. People have been wanting to let us know when you get them kind of thing. And so uh, this includes physical disease as well as emotional disease because human beings are a tribal animal. We're, you know, we're a herd animal. We uh, like to be with other human beings in our work, in our play, in our family activities, uh, whether we're cooking or we're eating. We don't like to be isolated as one person. And so it's, it's not part of our nature. And so um, this information will really, really help you understand what's going on and lead you in the right direction. Again, health crisis in the church and health crisis in the church in America. Both those CDs are in one set uh, entitled health crisis in the church. You go to www.drjwallet.com and get them. Okay, then. I do want to flash some numbers at you before we get into the details of depression. And uh, these are late night, last night figures, okay? Not much has been put online yet this morning early, but last night figures in the world, okay? This is the world. There is 367,871,286 infections from the COVID. Dead in the world, is 5,659,280, all right? And new cases this morning so far, okay, 3,285,455, these are the new cases in the world. Russia, you know, they're in all this controversy right now. Uh, last night, they had 11,404,617 infections, 328,770 dead, and this morning, 88,816 new infections. France, it'll freak you out. Uh, France has 18,122, well, let me back up, 18 million, 18 million, 122,724 infections, 130,015 dead, 392,168 new infections. Canada, has 2,979,643 infections and 33,192 dead. Uh, as of this morning, they have 25,000 new cases per day, 25,000 new cases per day. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Oh, Mexico has 4,779,296 uh, cases, 304,308 
um, dead. New cases they have 48,627. And the USA, okay, these are this morning's figures because I could get something there. Then they're small because, you know, only half a dozen states have reported. Um, let's see here. USA, 74,698,344 cases. 902,000, now listen to this, 902,960, um, 902,196 uh, dead. Now in three or four days, it's gonna be 1 million dead. I'm just freaked out over this. Okay, new cases today, new cases today in the USA are 497,351. And so this is ongoing. This is not ready to you know, give up the ghost and quit and go away. This is going on and on and on and on. Now, one thing you do see, the number of infections are going up and the number of deaths are staying pretty stable or even going down in some places. And that's because I think most of the infections now are the Omicron variant, which is very infectious, but not as deadly, okay? Not as deadly as the original uh, variant, okay? And the original variant was very deadly as well as very infectious. And so um, it, it's a slight change in, the, in how this is playing out, but it's still very, very busy. Um, and so uh, it can keep you from going to work. It can disable your whole family and you got to take care of three or four or six or eight people in bed and so forth. Um, uh, so be aware, wear your mask, use your hand sanitizer from activity, put two droppers full of our colloidal silver under your tongue, 30 minutes for each meal, 30 minutes for bedtime. I have a cart at the front door. So when I go out, I use, even though I've had my colloidal silver for the day or for the morning, I'll still do colloidal silver again. I do the hand sanitizer, come back in, do the hand sanitizer and colloidal silver again. Throw all the clothes and dirty clothes uh, to the laundry. Don't let anybody else do my laundry because I've been outside. Okay. And um, <clears throat> it's one of those things where um, you have to also protect everybody else. Don't forget, take your shoes off outside and don't wear your clothes through the house, okay? Don't wash your clothes in anybody else's clothes. When you won't use the washer and dryer in your house, make sure you run an empty wash with soap and bleach and all that kind of stuff to clean out the washer um, before you let somebody else use it. And that way you'll be ahead. Now, quickly on the depression thing, um, the brain is a biochemical organ in the body. It requires 90 essential nutrients, okay? And so you have to pay attention. 75% um, of the brain weight is cholesterol. I'll repeat that. 75% of the brain weight is cholesterol. So don't get on statin drugs. Cholesterol is not what's causing plaque in the arteries. It's actually salad dressings and frying and cooking oils because plaque in the arteries, not not cholesterol. That was a mistake by the medical system. And they came out with statin drugs to lower cholesterol. Well, that came up with depression and Alzheimer's disease and many, many other things going on in the brain. And so I want everybody to eat three eggs twice a day. Well, my doctor said, well, just keep listening to your doctor and you'll soon be in a nursing home, which he owns. Okay. And so um, do not get uh, statin drugs because Cholesterol is not what causes plaque in your arteries. If you do have plugged arteries, you also want to add the Ultimate Daily Classic Tablets three twice a day, two bottles a month, and they will support healthy blood pressure and healthy blood flow through blocked arteries in your brain, your heart, your kidneys. If you have, if you're on dialysis, you have high blood pressure, you, you need that Ultimate Daily Classic Tablets, the 90 Ultimate Daily Classic. Let's see, also you need the um, Healthy Brain and Heart Pack, one per 100 pounds of body weight. And you know, you gotta be proactive here. I, I talked to you know one of our distributors this morning. She had a, a client who had, um, uh, let's see here. Oh, they had uh, terrible, terrible, terrible problems uh, with um, uh, the COVID, okay? And so, um, and, but they didn't want to take any supplements. Well, you got to make sure that they're going to take the supplements and get off all the bad foods they can absorb. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat, butter, rye, oats, no sugar, no carbonated drinks. And gluten is one of the biggest factors. Everybody eats oatmeal for breakfast. Everybody eats pancakes and waffles for breakfast. They eat flour tortillas for lunch. They have spaghetti and uh, they'll have chicken noodle soup for lunch and dinner and that kind of stuff. 
bread, oh my gosh, beer, all made from wheat, 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 and that's why we're in trouble. That's why the European countries are in trouble because it's their diet compared to the Asian countries who live on rice and sweet potatoes and beans and squash instead of wheat, brown, and rye and oats. Totally different diets since the diet is causing our problems. Well, in addition to the two healthy brain and heart packs, uh, I also uh, want people to have our de-stress capsules, capital D like David, dash stress, three of those twice a day per 100 pounds body weight. Um, they need to um, take our Fucoid Z capsules. They can take three twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight unless they prefer the liquid. The, if they weigh 100 pounds, they could take uh, one quart of the Z radical, which is the liquid form, a Fucoid Z, which is from the seaweed in one ocean. And it um, supports a uh, healthy um, um, brain function, including for behavior and health and, uh, and you know, prevention and reversal of depression. Depression is a biochemical problem, okay? And it wouldn't hurt if you're a boy. I also take the um, Zara test, take um, uh, three of those twice a day. It's two bottles a month. If you're a girl, you wanna take Zara Femme, take three of those twice a day. And, and uh, along with your three eggs twice a day with soft yolks, soft yolks, you want uh, hard boiled eggs won't count. And so between the eggs and the cholesterol and uh, all these raw materials that your body needs to make the hormones, um, in most cases, uh, depression is gonna go away. Um, it's uh, something that I've been dealing with for 50 years, not personally, but uh, with patients and customers and clients and our various uh, associates or wonderful associates all over the world. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, if you're taking the nutrients and staying away from the bad stuff, depression goes away. It's not genetic, it's not autoimmune. It has to do with what you're eating, what you're not eating, and what you're supplementing with, and what you're not supplementing with, the prescription drugs you're on. And so all of this is easily fixable and maintainable. And so uh, there should not be one depressed American I want to, that. I'm just going to invite all the psychiatrists to join us and become an associate with Yongevity because if everybody listens to me, psychiatrists won't have much to do. You know, in the old days, grandma was a psychiatrist, and um, grandma would, uh, you know, make you some nice bean soup or some squash for dinner or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. If you have all these emotional problems. She'd sit there and talk with you for a few minutes. And grandma was the everything for everybody. She was a surgeon. She was a, um, she, she was a diagnostician. Uh, she was the person who would deal with your depression. Uh, she would coach you. Uh, she'd cook and teach everybody else how to cook and so forth. So it's one of those things where it, it's a uh, miracle. And of course, we had to have all these grandmothers, which is What's, what's good for us? <laughs> Over well, to you. I'm hoping, I'm hoping as a grandmother, I can pass along a lot of those things that grandmothers in the past um, passed on to their grandchildren and children. And I just wanted to really um, point out, you know, depression can be situational. It could be chemical imbalances. It can be hormonal imbalances. It can be caused by pharmaceuticals. Because and by all three at the same all time. Three, absolutely. And when we support our bodies so that our brain is functioning, because it's not like it, it it's not a bandage for one little area. The whole body is made up of these cells that benefit from nutrition. And you cut that nutrition off. And everything is going to start declining, especially the brain, which helps send all those, you know, those little electrical pulses to make everything work. Yeah. And of course, you communicate with people and they realize, Frankie, you're not communicating what's going on here. And so as opposed to you're sitting there, they can't tell you're in pain unless you tell them you're in pain. But when you can't talk to them straight or you're mumbling or, you know, you're complaining and all this kind of stuff, they know you've changed. And so you don't have to be much of a diagnostician to know that somebody's in trouble in their brain nutrition. That's right. And 
that's one thing, Dr. Wallach, that I appreciate so much about the education that is offered through Longevity, through you, your programs, is it helps us to be armed with information that we can share with others whenever we see somebody that's hurting. And, and I was thinking about it. Some people's like, oh, well, I don't want to approach people because they'll just think that I'm selling them something. Well, they go you to are, see a doctor. Selling them health. <laughs> What's the doctor doing? They go to see a nurse. What's the nurse doing? You know, they're pushing drugs that are going to mask different things and not actually work on the core foundation of the issue. And that's where you have done so much research, Dr. Wallach, and finding out what the body actually needs because of, you've got what, 33,000 autopsies under your yes, belt? Yeah, it's approaching that now. It's well beyond 32,000. And of course, um, I have 15 books. I have 50 DVDs and over 100 new CDs, including this new CD set, the, the Health Crisis in the Church. And I have, I'm working on a new book, which should be out before June. I'm very excited about this. Now, now you might say, now this is, you're overstepping the bounds with this one, Wallach. But the title is The Third Testament. There's the Old Testament, there's the New Testament, and now this is the Third Testament. Now I'm giving all the credit to God. I'm giving all the credit to the Old Testament and the New Testament. And there's a, a lot of stuff in there extracted from those two wonderful, wonderful um, collections of God's words. Um, but there, it's been 2000 years since the publishing of the New Testament, 2000 years. And I figured it's time to get that, in, that information out from 2000 years, got to get that information out to people because we have learned so much in that 2000 years because of technology. They didn't have the technology we have now. And so they didn't know a lot of things, not because they were stupid, okay, not because the raw material wasn't there for them to learn, but they didn't have the technology and the machines and all the science and everything we have now. And so I took all that science and, uh, and went back and did 2,000 years worth of research, okay? It took me about 10 years to do this. And I, I toyed with the, with the title, I mean, what, I mean, this is gonna be big. What can the title be? And I say, well, let's see. It's got to be a support of the Old Testament and the New Testament. Let's call it the Third Testament. Okay. And so that's how that came about because it supports everything the Old Testament says and the New Testament says. All the heroes uh, that are in um, both of those testaments are still heroes. Okay. Uh, it's not, but it's, it's bringing new information in to explain a lot of things that are in those book, wonderful books. Okay, the Old Testament and the New Testament, they could see things and they could report them, but they didn't have the technology to tell you what caused them and about them and how to eliminate the problems and so forth. So we have the answers in the Third Testament. So I'm very, very excited about this. And we're giving God all the credit. And it's going to be a, what should I say? <clears throat> it's going to help literally billions of people. There's 7.9 billion people in the world, Rebecca. And I tell you that everything from depression to physical ailments to infections like, you know, the COVID here, um, it's, it's just people who read this for me and give me feedback, they're freaking out. They said, how come it took 2000 years to get all this stuff? <laughs> well, that's because everybody was afraid to go there. Well, I've been going places where no man has gone before. <laughs> so many times that I'm not afraid to go there. And you don't stop. And we appreciate that, Dr. Wallach. Okay, back to you. All right, thank you. And everybody, thank you for being here with us. Thank you for joining us on a replay or joining us live. You are watching AskDocLive.com. This program is being sponsored by AskDocLive.com website actually you're watching ask doc live which is sponsored by askdoclive.com where you can find all of the information and the replays from all of our ask doc live almost all of our ask doc live programs since we began in july of was it 2020 jaunty mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is when we started this program which 
it's hard to believe that it's been that long, but I love the fact that we've made this library of information available to the public. Now, if you were invited to the, watch this program by somebody specific, make sure that you get back with them if you have any questions in regards to the content that was shared in this program. If you can relate to somebody who comes on and presents conditions that they're experiencing and Dr. Wallach gives the protocol and solution for that, get back with that person and say, hey, this person has some of the same things that I'm going on. The doctor says I need, or I can't remember what the doctor said. I need your help to help me get those products. Because let me tell you folks, if I hadn't have given 90 days, I can't believe that it's seven years ago now, um, I would not be here today. So Dr. Wallach's protocols have given me my life back. I'm no longer on pharmaceuticals. I'm no longer stuck in bed. Um, and I'm no longer 100 pounds heavier. So there's so much that can be done through supplementation and listening to Dr. Wallach and following his protocols has changed my life and the lives of so, so many. So I just can't thank you enough, Dr. Wallach. Well, we make a good team, you and your team and me and others. Um, our whole goal here is to get the information out there so uh, people who are like-minded are going to use it. We, you know, we appreciate that everybody doesn't listen to God. And so if everybody doesn't listen to God, you can't expect that everybody's going to listen to us. But, we, you know, we're looking for the, for, the, for the wonderful people who will listen to us. And it's one of those things where we can't forget the kids. And I, I always want to always make a remark for the kids. We have the kids toddy. We have the cherry mins. And we have also the the um let's see here kids toddy yep. cherry mints oh um and kids oh the efas the, and the, EFAs the EFAs. and the kids mm -hmm. sprinkles yeah you can put the kids sprinkles on ice cream uh i have some that i put on ice cream it's actually vitamins and mineral um sort of like beads that are covered with uh, dried berries and so kids love them you know put a it comes in little sticks and little individual packages in a box and so uh, i think they're green and red and so you can just tear the top off and sprinkle those on top of some ice cream or on top of some uh, rice or something like that. Right um, in the mouth. Or right kids in the mouth. Them right in the oh, mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. The kids love them. The grandkids love them. Well, Dr. Wellick, we have some hands that are up. And I just okay. want to remind everybody who's on live with us. If you go to the Zoom menu, you will find the option to raise your hand. And if you have a question that you would like to come on and ask Dr. Wallach, that is the way that you will get our attention that you would like to ask a question. We do have the comments also, but please raise your hand. We want to make sure that we get everybody and seeing you live on camera helps Dr. Wallach and his questioning for you and the protocol best for you. So let's first go to David. David, go ahead and unmute. Hi, how you doing? Fantastic. Hey, David, where are you You're from? You're on live with Dr. Wallach, David. I'm from uh, Indiana. Okay, how can we help you, sir? Uh, four and a half years ago or four years November, I was diagnosed with a chordoma, uh, which is bone cancer. Uh, the, I've gone to several doctors anyway. The last doc oncologist I went to, he said that he was floored that I am as healthy as I am. Uh, when I was first diagnosed, I, the doctors wanted to do chemo, radiation, and surgery. Uh, none of those options appealed to me, especially the surgery. And they said all it was going to do was add five years to my life. Uh, I'm four years down that road and uh, doctors like, how can that be? And I said, well, you know, I got a lot of people praying for me and God's answering those prayers. But my question to you is I want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can, uh, nutritionally and supplementally. Um, I've been using your products for about a year or so. Um, but I want to make sure I'm doing everything that I can to okay. Maintain. Okay, well, let me well let me ask you a couple of quick questions here. Yes, sir. And I can't I can't tell from the picture here. Um, do you have any gray or white or silver hair? Yes, I do. 
I'm 65 okay. years old. 65, and how much do you weigh? Uh, 160. 160? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you have any other issues, any high blood pressure or diabetes? No, sir. Okay. Do you have any joint problems, arthritis, anything like that? Yes. Okay. And so chordoma, that tells me that it was squeezing the spinal cord and causing stuff uh, from your well, waist down? Said, or They said it's cancerous. No, that's, that's not what I'm asking you. Okay. I, I heard that, but this is in your bones in your back? It's in my sacrum. Oh, in your sacrum, okay. And I have uh, not lost any function. Okay, good. All right. And so, but do, do you have pain from the waist down? Yes. All right. Okay, so here we go. And some of this you've probably already been doing here over the past couple of years since you've been you know, involved with us, but let's, um, for listening audience here, um, I need you to get rid of all the bad foods so you can maximize absorption and stop inflammation. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils of any kind, no gluten, no wheat, no barley, rye, and oats. There are no such things as gluten-free oats. The gluten in oats is called gliadin. And then, um, let's see here, no, um, let's see here. Uh, oh, also no carbonated drinks. Even the diet one's got to go because the carbonation neutralizes the stomach acid so you cannot efficiently digest food and absorb minerals. At 160 pounds, I want you to have two healthy brain and heart packs per month. Two healthy brain and heart packs per month. The full dose of everything twice a day. That's our big hammer. It has 215 nutrients in it. So I want you to have two of those uh, per month. Then I want you to have two bottles a month of our MSM. Uh, I want you to take three of those MSM tablets at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, you'll be able to do that with those two bottles. And they're going to support and promote maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, discs between your vertebrae, bone makes your bone itself, including the sacrum. Okay, and everything south of that. All right, and then I also um, want you to have our collagen peptides. I want you to take uh, one canister a month and that will allow you to have one scoop with your breakfast drink and one scoop with your dinner drink. And that's going to support your immune system and your bone marrow which is where your white blood cells, your antibodies are made to go kill and eat viruses, cancer cells, and so forth. All right. And so you want to be sure to use that collagen peptides, a scoop, a breakfast a drink, and a scoop, a dinner drink. One canister a month will, will work for you for that. Then I also want you to have our Fucoid Z capsules. You can take three of those twice a day. It'll be two bottles a month. That's from seaweed from one ocean. And you can have uh, seaweed and, and, um, uh, all, uh, all the green stuff, algae and things like that that uh, grow in the ocean. But I also uh, want you to, in addition to that, uh, you have another option. We do have the liquid form of the Fucoid Z. It's called Z radical. If you're going to use the, if you're going to use the uh, liquid, I want you to get two quarts a month. So you can take an ounce of breakfast, ounce of dinner. You're going to use the capsules. It's two bottles a month. Take three at breakfast, three at dinner, and that really supports the immune system, which is your best friend when you have any type of cancer or inflammation. And it also gives you these weird trace minerals that are necessary to, again, help the immune system. And I think uh, that's where we're gonna start. Uh, you'll notice that your hair color is gonna come back. Uh, it'll start coming back in about two to three weeks after you start the program. But it's imperative to get rid of all the bad foods. Everybody in the household has gotta be gluten-free so there's no cross-contamination in the laundry, the food preparation surfaces. And then the hair color starts coming back. People are gonna say, David, are you coloring your hair, your, your gray hair is going away. Okay, no. Okay, because it's a nutritional deficiency. Gray hair, white hair, silver hair has nothing to do with aging. It's a nutritional deficiency. And that same nutritional deficiency causes varicose veins, hemorrhoids, spider veins. It causes aneurysms. And so you really, really, really want to be very aggressive in eliminating all the bad foods and taking all the good foods so you can make sure you're getting the... Um, nutrients necessary for that hair color to come back. When the hair color comes back, you know you're on the right track. Okay, any last question before we go on? No, sir, thank you very much. I appreciate what you do and how you share your information. Okay, well, thank you, David. If you would, if you'd call us every couple of weeks and give us an update, we'd appreciate it because people are gonna ask, whatever happened to that David guy from Indiana, okay? <laughs> thank you, sir. God bless you. You too. Okay, back to you, Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. 
Oh, she may be I am here and thank you, Dr. Wallach. And thank you, David. <laughs> David, make sure that you stay in contact with your amazing health coach because she is awesome. Um, now, Dr. Wallach, we have somebody who has ulcerative colitis. Mm -hmm. uh, Stephanie writes in and she has a client named Paula, 46, or, sorry, 65 year old female. She's three minerals and enzymes, sweeties and ultimate EFA. She continues to have problems with watery diarrhea. She has no gallbladder, no tonsils, no appendix. She is diabetic. She has blood pressure issues, fibromyalgia, degenerative disc disease, and arthritis, nerve damage, and AFib. So Dr. Wallach, what is the full protocol that Paula needs to get on, including food choices to help her overcome or address ulcerative colitis? Okay, well, ulcerative colitis is a classic example of gluten. Okay, it's a disease caused by consuming gluten. And all these diseases that are going on in her colon and diarrhea and all that kind of stuff is due to gluten, okay? She's got to get rid of all the bad foods. And everybody in the household, including the dog and the cat and the bird and the fish, everybody's gotta be drop dead gluten-free. Can't even say the word, okay? And then uh, 300 pounds. Oh, first of all, cause she has AFib. This is due to osteoporosis of the skull. She needs to get my book, it's called It's All In Your Head. You can go to www.drjwallet.com, www.drjwallet.com. Get the book, It's All in Your Head. It goes into the 25 different diseases you can get from AFib, or excuse me, from, uh, excuse me osteoporosis of the skull, including AFib. Uh, doctors want to treat it as a heart disease, but it's not. The heart disease is kind of like a, a symptom. Okay, what's going on in the skull? Squeezing the 10th cranial nerve, which controls, controls the rate and rhythm of the heart. Um, then let's see here, 300 pounds. I'm going to give you the ideal. Um, needs to get rid of all the bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat, bread, rhinos, no sugar, no carbonated drinks of any kind, including the diet ones, because the carbonation neutralizes the stomach acid, which is important for not only digestion, but also absorption of minerals. And so she needs to do that. And then I want her to have three healthy brain and heart packs per month, three healthy brain and heart packs per month, a full dose of everything three times a day, a full dose of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I weigh 142 and I take two full doses a day. At 142 pounds, I take two healthy brain and heart packs per month. I take a full, and I have to pay for everything. The, the company doesn't give me any free product. I have to pay for everything, okay? And so then I also want her to have uh, two bottles a month of the MSM. So you can take three with breakfast, three with lunch, three with dinner time. That's gonna support and promote maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the vertebrae, bone rings, bone itself, including the skull and all the bones and every bone in her body. I also want her to have the collagen peptides. She can have one canister a month of the collagen peptides so she can take a scoop of that with her drink in the morning and a scoop of that with her drink in the afternoon. I also want her to have vitamin D3, three of those three times a day. Yeah, even if she lives in Florida, she doesn't get naked or in a bikini and lay out in the sun for four hours every day. I guarantee you, she sits in the shade. So she needs to take the um, three of the uh, vitamin D3 uh, three times a day. That'll be three bottles a month. I want her to also have the, uh, let's see here, hair, skin, and nails. I want her to have hair, skin, and nails. She can take three of those three times a day. It'll be three bottles a month of the hair, skin, and nails. And that's going to deal with all that. I also want her to have three bottles a month of her ultimate daily classic tablets. She can take three with breakfast, three with lunch, three at dinner time. And they're gonna support healthy blood pressure and healthy blood flow through blocked arteries. Now, did you say she had diabetes also? Yes. Okay, a diabetes, she needs um, three bottles a month of our sweeties. She can take three with breakfast, three with lunch, three at dinner time. And both the high blood pressure and the diabetes, if she's on medication for those, don't cold turkey off the medication but test every day like she's supposed to. And as the blood sugar begins to fall, she can reduce the medication based on the numbers. And usually it's within two to six weeks, she'll be totally off of her diabetic medication because she won't be a diabetic anymore. And then um, for the high blood pressure, the same thing. Don't cold turkey off of the medication. But as the blood pressure begins to drop, she can slowly reduce the medication based on the numbers. Okay. And usually within um, uh, a month, uh, she'll be totally off of both the medication for diabetes and high blood pressure. Uh, was she on dialysis for her kidney issues? No, not at this moment. 
Not okay, yet, good. anyways. Okay, well, good. That that's this. I get people off of dialysis. They've been on dialysis six days a week for ten years. Haven't urinated in ten years, and in two weeks' time they're urinating, and and in six weeks' time they're totally off all their medication. You know, they don't need dialysis anymore after twenty five years of being on dialysis. Okay, now you remember the doctors have kids in college, and they require income to pay for the tuition. So that's why they treat symptoms. Doctors treat symptoms. Doctors do not cure diseases. Doctors treat symptoms. And, and most patients are very happy. Oh, my God, I was in so much pain. And doctors gave me this new medication. He said, I'm the number one, the first one to get it. They tell it to everybody in the, in the village. You're the first one to get it. And so they feel special. And it relieves the pain within hours. And they're so happy. Oh, I had this pain for years. And just in hours, it went away. And it's a blessing. Being pain-free is a blessing. I'm not, I'm not uh, you know saying that it's not a blessing. But if it's a, a disease that can be eliminated, so you don't need the medication to relieve the symptoms, why not go there? That's what I say. Okay, so, back to you, Rebecca. Dr. Wallach, I'm gonna say that also, that you know, all of those things that are just covering up symptoms, what do they do to the liver and the kidneys, Dr. Wallach? Well, most medications have to be detoxified um, in the liver and bits and pieces are gotten rid of uh, through the kidneys. And so it puts a strain on everything when you're on the medication. And that's why they say, well, here are side effects you need to watch out for, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, and, and of course, some side effects are death. And so um, prescription drugs are potentially very dangerous. And, um, and so people, they're so excited about being <clears throat> uh, free of the pain and free of some of the nasty symptoms and things that they're you know, willing to take that risk. Well, you, you don't have to take that risk if you're taking your 90 essential nutrients and staying away from the bad stuff so you can maximize absorption. Well, it, it, it just baffles me that on that insert, it says may cause decreased kidney function, may cause liver failure, may cause coronary disease, may cause heart attack. All of those things, that may is because it's happened in some of their studies. Yeah, and, and not just once. It's a significant number of people who have those side effects, and that's why they're listing them. If it just happened one in a thousand, they wouldn't list it. That's right. So I really encourage you folks, if you're on pharmaceuticals, check out that, that sheet that comes with them. And if your pharmaceutical prescription did not come with that sheet, say, hey, I want to read the information that's supposed to come with this, with this prescription. I want to read all of the things that it benefits and the things that could happen. Be informed. And I am so grateful, Dr. Wallach, that I got the supplementation, that I detoxified my kidneys and my liver so that everything was functioning properly. I think that had a big part in my weight loss, big part in living without pain. And I'll tell you what, living without pain is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yes. And you, you've been without pain for eight years. Seven years, almost seven years. seven years now. Wow. Yeah. And yes, it was an investment into my own self. People say, oh, well, I can't afford that. Well, what can you afford when it comes to later on? Death is pretty expensive. To, yeah. And not being able to be here for your family mentally or physically or emotionally because your body has broken down so much that it just can't function properly, or you're taking energy, something energy that's a false energy just to help you get through the day. Well, I love the fact that with a nutriated body, I wake up in the morning, I'm ready to go. I go throughout the day. And yeah, I have my supplementations that I take. And I have a couple of things that when I need them, I have them, but they're natural in supporting my body and how it's designed to work. And Dr. Wallach, I have access to all of those because of you, what you have started. No, you don't 
make any income off the sale of the products. It all comes from your books, but you started this amazing company that now has offered us anyone. It doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter what your education is. You can start your very own business. And with the education that's provided through longevity and through the leadership within longevity, you can have that confidence to be able to reach out to people and say, hey, I know this doctor, he's had this amazing research. He's put together formulations that have actually helped people overcome things that you're going through. Would you like some more information? And it's that simple. It's that simple. And you're able to actually make an income with a purpose in helping people and improving lives and communities. So oh, Dr. Wallach, it's a beautiful, have... that's, that's a beautiful story, Rebecca. And mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm going to say something here, which is gonna flip people out. Now, now, next month is Black History Month. The entire month is Black History Month. And I have a book and a CD called um, Black Gene Lies because there's so many um, diseases said to be genetic in the black community. There you go, black teen lies and all the diseases, you know, heart disease, kidney disease, liver disease, uh, brain disease, lung disease, uh, muscle disease, joint disease, all these things, none of them are genetic. And so we're going to have a great time helping our black brothers and sisters um, starting next week, uh, specifically because we're going to really go heavy on the people of color and give them information that's gonna add many healthful years to their life, just like you've had many healthful years added to your life. And so thank you so much because we are going to really, really, really go to some of the famous people that we have helped and some of the sort of the average person that we have helped in the black community all over the world. And um, it's amazing um, the, the results we get. And uh, this is gonna, I'm, I'm already excited about next month. <laughs> Well, I'm excited that we have so many people from around the world on with us now. I saw some of some of my business partners pop in from from the UK and from Nigeria and from Bahrain, you know, and those are just some that I know. And I don't know where everything, you know, where everybody's at. So the fact that nutrition is not for one demographic. Everybody needs it we were all designed by the same creator and we all need the same nutrition Duh. there's no walls <laughs> there's no barriers there's no prejudice here you know we are one big happy family and i'm going to claim that happy and and keep rolling with it so thank you so much dr wallach for what you have started with this um in, in the comments, Christy Pook, I'm happy as Doc Live started. Otherwise, my life would have never improved. I've only been on the pro protocol for five plus months, but I've already had hu huge improvements. And I read the book, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, years ago, reread it last summer, which I have referred to frequently over the years. Having this live program along with the reruns on YouTube has been wonderful education. I still have a couple lingering troublesome problems, but I am on this protocol for life. So osteoporosis of the skull took years to develop, so it's not going to go away overnight. And that's right, folks. It's not an overnight thing. It takes time our cells are continually regenerating. And if I remember right, it's seven years of regeneration and every single bell, uh, cell in our body is new. But it, the process continues to go. So as the process continues, you have to have the raw ingredients to make those cells healthier. So the body can do what it was designed to do. Wow, so, great job. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little bit of a passion for this, Dr. Well, Wallach. yeah. I can Let's go to our <laughs> next hand up. We have five minutes before top of the hour. Okay. And Pauline, Pauline, go ahead and unmute yourself, my dear. Okay. You're on live with Dr. Wallach. 
Hi, Pauline. Hi, Doc. Well, um, I'm 58. I'm 160. And um, I'm 5'3". Okay. okay. What you got? Okay, I'm anemic. And I've been anemic off and on for most of my life. And I take an iron supplement twice a day. But it seems to never just get to the number that my doctor wants. So I guess okay. I'll be taking it for life. Um, I have high blood pressure and mitral valve prolapse. And I was diagnosed with all of this um, in my 40s, my early 40s. Um, okay. So you've been dealing with it for, for almost 20 years. Yes. I have high cholesterol now. And it's What's been high? high? What's your number? I think he told me it was 259. It's too low. It needs to be 350. Oh. Just remember, your doctor's got kids in college, and he needs the money. Okay. And the stand that he, he's changed my stand four times because every time I take it, it gives me muscle aches. So he'll keep changing. So I'm on one now that I take at night every other day. And that... Mm -hmm. So I have that. Okay. And I, okay. So you're talking about the medication, right? Yes. Okay. So here we go. Um, one other question. Do you have any bowel problems, any diarrhea, constipation, anything like that? No, not now. I took, I took meat out of my diet about three years ago, and that kind of got rid of all of my constipation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any skin problems, any eczema, dermatitis, or psoriasis? No. Okay. Do you have any respiratory stuff? Any asthma, bronchitis? No, but I do have phlegm. Okay. Thank you. Um, all right. And anemic, just as is a standard anemia, just standard red blood cell uh, reduced kind of thing? Yes. That correct? Okay. So it's not sickle cell anemia, anything like that? No. No. Okay. 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 Well, here we go. Absolutely. None of the bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat butter, rhinos, no sugar, no carbonated drinks. You cannot cook gluten for somebody else because you're going to get cross contamination on the food preparation surfaces and in the bed and the couch and the washer and dryer and all that kind of stuff. OK, so no gluten in the house, even for other people. OK, okay. if they eat it outside the house, make them strip in the front yard and hose them down before you let them in the house. OK, it's that, it's that serious. Then at 160 pounds, I want you to have two healthy brain and heart packs per month. Two healthy brain and heart packs per month. Um, a full dose of everything at breakfast, a full dose of everything at dinner time. I want you to take uh, two bottles a month of the MSM, so you can take three with each meal. That's going to support and promote maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, including the bones, right? And okay. bone matrix um, and bone marrow cavity, which makes the red blood cells and platelets and white blood cells and antibodies. And then I want you also to have the collagen peptides, put a scoop of that uh, powder in your drink in the morning, a scoop of that powder in your drink at night. One canister will last you a month. And then uh, because of blood pressure issues and heart valve stuff, I also uh, want you to take the, um, let's see here, Ultimate Daily Classic Tablets. Take three of those twice a day. That'll be two bottles a month. That'll support healthy blood pressure, healthy blood flow, uh, and so on. Um, then I also uh, want you to uh, take the, um, let's see, there was something else I wanted you to take. Oh, I need you to take the, um, uh, uh, e either the Z radical liquid. I want you to take um, one quart a month of the liquids. You could take a half ounce at breakfast and a half ounce at dinner time. If you take the capsules, you need two bottles a month. So you can take three of those capsules of Fucoid Z, which is a name for the capsules of the Z radical liquid. Okay, so uh, they all comes from the same um, seaweed and so forth. Uh, take three of those twice a day, either three capsules twice a day or the half an ounce of the liquid Z radical twice a day. And um, let's see here. Let's go there. Uh, this that's you know, a, a lot to start with, but you're going to get benefit like you can't believe because your bone marrow, um, it, it needs to get these nutrients to make red blood cells. Okay. And um, the red blood cells have to be healthy and made right so that they last 120 days. 
They're, they're supposed to last 120 days, but they have to be built in a certain way. And so they can't be fragile and they bust up every time you make them in your bone marrow that squirts them out in your arteries and then your arteries pump them and they break because they're too fragile. Okay. And so let's do it all right. And then call us every two weeks. Uh, let us know what's going on. Do you have white gray or silver hair? I do, but I don't gray really quickly, but I do have some. Okay. Yeah, well, see that's again, that's not old. That doesn't mean that's not an aging thing. That is due to a nutritional deficiency. And so when the hair color begins to come back, you know, you know, you know that you're absorbing the nutrients, okay? Okay. There you go. Okay, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God thank bless you, you too. Pauline. All right, and I know for a fact that Dr. Wallace's protocol for anemia works. I had been anemic, anemic since I was 16 years old. Wow. And Dr. Wallach, at 45 years old, I was no longer anemic. Well, what did your doctor say about that? They just said, well, whatever you're doing. Did they say, come on, sit yeah. down. Let's, let's sit down and have a cup of ice cream or something here, a cup of coffee. Tell me what you're doing. Did they do that? No, they didn't. Not at all. And See, that's typical of the doctor that has a kid in college and needs the money for tuition. Well, you've been my only doctor for the last seven years. So, wow. or six and a half, almost seven years. It, it, and I have no desire to change because I don't need one. But Dr. Wellick, we are at the top of the hour. So let's go ahead and take a five minute break. Everybody, thank you so much for being with us on Ask Doc Live. This program is being brought to you by AskDocLive.com. We are here as a resource for you. So if you were invited to this program by somebody specific, make sure that you get back with them and let them know that you saw the program and you want to get started on a protocol. As I mentioned before, it is an investment, but it's an investment into you, your greatest asset in life. Because if you don't have health, how can you enjoy anything else? whether it be family, whether it be financial, whether it be emotional happiness, you need to have, and I try to remove the word need. I suggest, I encourage you to find out what it feels like to have a body that is fully nutriated, that is functioning the way it was designed. Your family will appreciate it as well. So everybody stick with us. I just also wanted to mention that all of the books that are mentioned on today's program can be found at askdoclive.com. You can find Dr. Wallach's books there. You can find all of our replays there. And you can also find the products that Dr. Wallach mentions. But again, if you were invited by somebody specific, get back with them to place your order. That shopping cart there, if you're a current longevity, customer, you know your ID number, you can use that shopping cart with, with no problem. But we want to make sure that the person that took the time to share this program with you has the opportunity to help you get the products through the way that they prefer to get them. So everybody stand up, refill your drink. And hey, if you have some collagen, mix it in there whether it's hot or cold it's absolutely fabulous it does not change the taste unless you've got the collagen peptides for joint health support which is fantastic or the collagen for hair skin and nails which is fantastic anyways we will be right back with ask doc live and we are back with ask doc live as we're waiting for dr wallach to come with us I wanna make sure that we get all of your questions answered. Now, there's a few questions that wanna know, how do we find out about the schedule for the calls for speaking engagements for Black History Month? Get with your longevity distributor. If they don't have the information, the people in their leadership will have the information on being able to connect in with the Black History Month schedule. Also, if, You've got a loved one that's um, suffering with some major conditions. We cannot say do not go with, to the doctor. If it is a crisis situation, 
then absolutely we have the best emergency medicine um, system that I can think of. But we're all about supporting the body to be able to do what it was designed to do and to be able to, you know, possibly prevent those emergency situations. Um, so we cannot say whether or not to or not to go to the hospital, but we do want to make sure that everybody is getting the information that they deserve that supports their body. Now, Dr. Wallach, let's yes, go ahead and let's <laughs> get to the next hand that is up, Dr. Wallach. Okay. And that is Treva. Treva, go ahead and unmute yourself. You're on live with Dr. Wallach. You should be able to unmute yourself. You see a little Hello, Treva. There? there we go. Okay. Okay. All right. How can we help you? Well, uh, I've recently had MRIs. I've had back issues for about three years. And the doctor said I have fractures all the way down my spine. And so I just had a bone density test yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I've already been warned he's going to want to put me on some kind of medication. And I was just wanting your, I'm already taking your products, but I want to know your opinion on. Okay. So how much you weigh and how old are you? I'm 77. I, I lost 50 pounds. So now I'm down to 104. Um, and I lost a lot of inches. I used to be five, two. What are you now? Oh, about four, eight. Okay, so you lost six inches. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any ringing in the ears? No. Do you have any buzzing or roaring in the ears? No. Okay. Do you have any balance problems or vertigo? No. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Do you have anything going on in your hands and your wrists? No. What about your teeth? Do you have uh, dentures put in or implants or anything like that? I have. I have a bridge. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. But that, that's uh, been for a long time. Okay. Do you have anything going on? Um, uh, do you have anything going on? Let's see here in your bowels. Constipation, diarrhea. No. Okay. Do you have anything going on in your in like diabetes, high blood pressure? Some high blood pressure. Okay. Yeah. Now you have osteoporosis. Yes. Okay. Yes. Terrible. Right. Including the skull. Yes. <clears throat> and um, uh, we can't get you back six inches, but we might get you back an inch or two in height because um, we can help rebuild the disc between your vertebrae. We can get rid of the high blood pressure. Okay. Your hair color will come back because this is not due to aging. Hair color is due to nutritional deficiency. Okay. And so let's start. Uh, we need to get rid of all the bad foods. And a lot of this you may be doing, but this, you know, needs to go to a lot of people. So right. uh, get rid of all the bad foods. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, no barley, rye, oats, no sugar, no carbonated drinks. Even the diet one's got to go because it's uh, carbonation. And the carbonated drinks, it neutralizes stomach acids so you cannot absorb minerals. So if you're taking just diet, I'm just taking diet drinks, but still that carbonation yeah. is neutralizing your stomach acid. I've never had a diet drink. Okay, good. How about, how about salt? How much salt do you take? I, I wasn't taking it, but after listening to my cons consultant, consultant, I, I started taking the, the <laughs> okay. good salt. Okay. The pink yeah. Himalayan salt. Okay, good. The pink Himalayan salt from Longevity. Pink Himalayan salt has 78 minerals in it. Okay. And you cannot absorb minerals without, um, without stomach acid and stomach acid is made from salt. Salt is a raw material for a chief cell in your stomach to make stomach acid. So uh, do you have any belching, burping, or bloating? I do have bloating. Okay. Yeah. This is because uh, you don't have enough, uh, you don't have enough stomach acid. So bacteria are fermenting your food in your belly and causing the bloating. Okay. So I want you to get our pink Himalayan salt and use a half a teaspoon at breakfast and a half a teaspoon at dinner time, okay? Uh, oh. With a pink Himalayan salt. Wouldn't hurt to do it three times a day. Half a, half a teaspoon at breakfast, lunch, and dinner of the pink Himalayan salt from Longevity. All right, well, here we go. 
need to get rid of all the bad stuff. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat bread rhinos, no sugar, no carbonated drinks. You know, that one's got to go. And this is for everybody else. I know you don't do some of that, but that's for everybody else also. Then um, you need to take it 104 pounds. I want you to take one healthy brain and heart pack per month. I want you to get another bottle of our selenium. One bottle of selenium comes with the healthy brain and heart pack. Take a half a dose of everything twice a day, except for the selenium. I want you to take six a day. You can take two, two and two or three and three, whatever is easier for you, the selenium. It has five cofactors added to it, not selenium from Walmart, but our selenium has the five cofactors in there. And your hair color will start coming back. That tells me you're absorbing, okay, when your hair color comes back. Then, and um, let's see here. Then uh, you're going to start growing again. You'll, you'll regrow a, an inch or two. You're not going to regrow six inches, but you'll, you'll, you'll regrow an inch or two because your disc will be healed. All right. And then I want you to take our MSM, get one bottle of MSM, so you can take three twice a day, one bottle of MSM. That's going to support and promote maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the vertebrae, bone breaks, the bone itself, including the skull, the walls of the arteries, the walls of your veins. All right. And then I also uh, want you to uh, take the co collagen peptides, take a scoop of that with your morning drink and take a scoop of that with your evening drink. Uh, it's one canister a month of the collagen peptides. That's actually cartilage uh, and connective tissue from fish, poultry, uh, sheep, and beef. And so it, it's one of those miracle nutrients, okay? It's, it's, it gives your body what it needs for all the things you're missing, okay? And then because of the high blood pressure, I want you to have two uh, bottles a month or ultimate da daily classic tablets, two bottles a month, the ultimate daily classic tablets, you can take three twice a day. And the ultimate daily classic tablets will support healthy blood pressure. Are you on medication for the blood pressure? Yes. Okay, don't cold turkey off the medication, but you know, check your blood pressure every other day or every day. And as your blood pressure begins to drop, you can slowly reduce the medication, okay, based on the numbers. Don't just mm -hmm. say, okay, I'm on this now, I can throw away my medication. No, do yeah. it by the numbers, okay? Now, again, I apologize. I asked you this, but I, f I forget the answer. Uh, do, you, do you have diabetes? No. Okay, good. Very good. All right. Then let's see here. I um, also want you to have the Fucoid Z. You can have three of those capsules twice a day. There's two bottles a month. That's from the seaweed in one ocean. Uh, if you prefer the liquid, you can get a quart of the Z radical, which is the liquid form of the Fucoid Z. Uh, and you can take a half ounce of that twice a day. And it gives you what's necessary to support your immune system and also give you raw materials. That'll help also your hair color come back because it's got some of the raw materials in it necessary for the hair color to come back. And I think we're covering all of those things that you're complaining about. Um, it wouldn't hurt to have a, um, you can get some gluten-free ice cream. I have a, I have a, um, a third of a, of a pint of gluten-free ice cream every night with dinner. Okay, because I'm getting. And, and what is that? What brand is that gluten-free ice cream? Uh, um, you know, I don't know because it's given to me. Um, okay. But All right. it's, 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 in, it's, it's in the biggest brand in the store. I think it's Breyers. Is that so? No. 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 Not, not, well, that may be, they may have gluten free, but that's not the one that I'm using. It's not Breyers. Okay. No. Now, what do I tell the doctor who wants to put me on medication? Okay. Say, oh, well, I'm trying some things. I want to wait. Well, if he wants to put you on medication for what? For, for osteoporosis. Oh. Okay, so no, give me 90 days. Say, I'm, I'm working on this. I, you know, I have a nutritional plan I'm going to here. So since this is a nutritional deficiency disease, I don't want a pharmaceutical. Okay, just uh, give me 90 days. If I'm not successful in 90 days, I'll come to you for the, for the, for the drug. Okay, because that, that's my concern because I know some of these drugs are really bad. I mean, most well, most. Well, yeah, you can. Well, yeah, well, tell, ask him which one are you going to give me. Say, I'm going to look it up. And see what all the side effects are. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. But, well, that's he said. There are several drugs out there. We'll do the bone density test, and then I'll I'll tell you which one we're going to put you on. Mm -hmm. And it's like I would rather do it nutritionally. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. So yeah, you know, give us a call every couple of weeks because you know I always tell people give us ninety days because you're going to see. If you're doing everything right, you'll begin to see things going right in the beginning, but it's not like all or nothing. It goes improvement, 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 improvement. And so 
um, you'll be improving. You'll be able to see improvement within two weeks and then four weeks and six weeks and eight weeks. And then by 90 days, I mean, you're going to feel like you're, you're 18 years old again. Well, I've been on your <laughs> products for a while, so I still- Gluten-free, got to be gluten-free. Yeah, well, I, yep, That's, I shop for that. All right, well, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you, Treva, for coming on with us. Um, I've had multiple compression fractures myself, so I understand the, the pain and discomfort that you're in. So my prayers and thoughts are with you. Now, Dr. Wallach, the next question is coming from Jill. And she has a client who's 48 years old, weighs 175 pounds at five foot tall. She has sev uh, severe nutritional deficiencies in every category of health. So with the uh, health coaching program, we do have a health evaluation that gives an actual health score. Her health score is a negative one. She has gastroparesis due to nerve damage to her stomach related to type one diabetes. Type one diabetes was diagnosed at the age of six. We're asking for your thoughts on gastroparesis and whether anything can be done to improve it. She has yes. seen many positive changes with following an anti-inflammatory diet. However, she doesn't believe anything can be done with gastroparesis. That's very easy to get rid of. Gastroparesis is a simple nutritional deficiency. It's one of the symptoms of osteoporosis of the skull. It's a squeezing of the 10th cranial nerve, the vagus nerve by the skull. It goes, runs all the way from the brain all the way down to the stomach and causes gastroparesis you know, when it's being squeezed. Uh, she might also have an irregular heartbeat, a fast heart rate. Does she complain about any of that? She does not complain about any of that. I doesn't say that there's any type of heart conditions here. Okay, good. Well, it's, it's actually not a heart condition. It's a heart, I don't know what you'd call it, a symptom or something, because the same nerve that's being squeezed that causes gastroparesis is the same nerve that causes heart issues. And doctors think it's a heart problem, but it's really just osteoporosis of the skull. Okay, so here we go. Um, Got to get rid of all the bad foods. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat, by rye, no no sugar, no carbonated drinks. Even the diet one's got to go. And then at 175 pounds, I wanted to have two healthy brain and heart packs per month, two healthy brain and heart packs per month, a full dose of everything twice a day. And then I wanted to have two bottles a month of our MSM. So she can take three at breakfast, three at lunch, three at dinner time. And they're going to um, support and promote maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, including in the brain and the skull, um, in the heart valves, um, in, in the uh, bones, in the disc between the vertebrae, uh, joints, every place, okay? Um, that's the MSM. And then I wanted to have the collagen peptides, take a scoop of that with the breakfast every morning and a scoop of that with her in her drink and a scoop of that in her drink at, at dinner time. That's going to help her immune system as well as uh, make red blood cells, white blood cells for her uh, and her antibodies for her immune system and so forth, and also for the walls of arteries and veins and so on. And then for type 1 diabetes diagnosed at 6, that's kind of iffy, okay, but I'm assuming she's been on medication since she's 6 years old. Is that correct? I'm going to say yes. Her, her distributor is on the line with us. We okay. can go ahead and ask her to unmute, and she'll know that question Okay. the answer to that. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Jill. I actually don't know the answer to that because she did her health evaluation a while ago and I was simply trying to follow up on the gastroparesis, but I remembered that she told me that she was six um, and that's all I know. I'd have to get more okay. information. Okay. And so, yeah, doctors will sometimes diagnose a type one diabetes when they're 65. And that's because they give them an oral medication and um, they cannot absorb it because they're eating gluten. Okay. And so, they, well, you're, you're type one. No, they're type two. They just couldn't absorb the metformin because it's an oral medication because they have type one, um, uh, or excuse me, they have a gluten issue, okay? No gluten. You can't cook for anybody else. You can't cook gluten for somebody else because you're gonna get cross-contaminated in the laundry and in the food preparation services, et cetera. Okay, then I wanted to have the Fucoid Z, three of those twice a day, that's two bottles a month of the capsules if she prefers a liquid. Um, she could take a, a two quarts a month because she's 175 pounds. She needs two quarts a month, uh, be an ounce at breakfast, ounce at dinner time. And it's from the seaweed and, and algae and all that kind of stuff from the ocean, all this weird trace minerals and everything that's in there. 
And for the for the diabetes, I'd give her the ultimate. Excuse, give, excuse me, give her the sweeties. Uh, she should have two bottles a month of the sweeties. Take three of those at breakfast, three at dinner time, and then you know take her blood sugar, and see how that's going. And then um, as her blood sugar begins to drop, um, then she can uh, if it's if it's truly type one, uh, it'll drop, but not all the way. It might drop. 90 percent and to have just a little residual blood sugar issue um but at any rate as the blood sugar begins to reduce or excuse, yeah come down she can reduce the amount of medication she's taking slowly 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 yeah not cold turkey okay and then uh let's see here um let's see this is going to help her joints it's going to help her heart her blood pressure her diabetes and so let's go there uh and by doing this and getting rid of all the bad food she's going to lose some weight and uh, she's only five foot tall. I'd like to see her weigh 85, uh, 85 pounds to um, 100 pounds. So she's got to lose 75 pounds. She's way overweight, almost double what she should weigh. Okay, but she will begin to lose weight as, as soon as she starts getting off of all these bad foods. And she's taking the supplements, so she's not going to be hungry. So her meals will be smaller, uh, simply because when you're nutritionally deficient, you have a behavior called PICA, P-I-C-A, which drives you to eat more, eat more, eat more, eat more, eat more. And it's one of those things where once you start supplementing, the PICA behavior goes away. You can look it up in any dictionary, P-I-C-A. Um, <clears throat> and uh, when the PICA goes away, you're satisfied with a small meal. And so you don't gain weight. You know, um, I'm 83 years old and only weigh 142 pounds. I'm five foot six. And... Um, I, I played football, I wrestled, uh, ran long distance track and all that kind of stuff. So, I, you know, I've led a full physical life, uh, but I'm small. Um, it's just, you know, that's, that's the, what I was given, so to speak. Okay. So at any rate, uh, let's hear from you um, every couple of weeks. All right. Thank you, Doc. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Wallach. And thank you, Jill. Now, one thing that I want to um, mention is doing some mild strength training and Nasima, our amazing co-host, um, has a lot of experience with this. She had mentioned that the strength training exercises can help with bone density when using the nutrients. So Dr. Wallach, you always say exercise without supplementation is suicide. Well. We're getting that supplementation, right, folks? So we're going to be doing some gentle strength training to help keep our bones strong. And that could be as simple as taking soup cans in each hand and doing movements, and putting them on your ankles and doing leg lifts. It's mm -hmm. super simple, and it does not have to be strenuous. Is, is that correct, no, Dr. Wallach? That is correct. Thank you for bringing that up, because I walk three miles a day. Uh, I walk a mile, then I have lots of stuff to do for an hour or so, then I walk a mile again, then I have stuff to do, and I walk a mile for the third time. Every once in a while on the weekends, on Saturday and Sunday, I might walk four miles, okay? I've been doing that for 75 years, <clears throat> and uh, you know, in addition to yard work and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I do have a CD out called Exercise Without Supplementation of Suicide. I have uh, another CD out that's called Dead Athletes Don't Lie, because everybody tells me, well, you know, I exercise, well, that's good, but you still need your 90 cents nutrients. And in fact, because you're exercising, you need, you really need the 90 cents nutrients because you're going to sweat them out. You're going to sweat those nutrients out. And so you do need to make sure, well, my doctor says I can get everything I need by just eating well. Well, your doctor needs to go to jail. You cannot get everything you need by just eating well because plants only get fertilizer with three nutrients in it, NPK, and your body needs 90. Where are you going to get the other 87? Okay. And so you, can't, you cannot get what you need just by eating well. That's nonsense. Um, so, and eating uh, well, eating well to the USDA pyramid is not eating well, according to what you have found out to be what are the good foods and bad foods. That is correct. You still need to adhere to the good food, bad food list. And you can find that list on askdoclive.com. Now, just as a reminder, this program is being sponsored by askdoclive.com. Com. If you have questions that, and you do not have a distributor that you're working with, you can go to our website, use the contact us 
and submit questions there. But I do encourage you to get back with the person that shared this program with you, because if they are not a distributor, they may be associated with one that can help you get your questions answered. Now, for those who have never ever tried any of the Longevity products, and you would like to speak with somebody before placing an order uh, for supplementation, because I know Dr. Wallach, he's going through a lot of products and he speaks very quickly. So you can go back and watch the replay so that you can get those products written down. But we do have a call team available at 855-949-7234. Now, again, those are for people who have never ever spoken to anybody about longevity, you've never ordered before, and you have questions before and, uh, placing an order. Dr. Wallach, let's go to our next guest with their hand up, and John. John, go ahead and unmute yourself. It looks like you are unmuted, John. Okay, am I unmuted? Yes. You are. You can hear me? Okay, great. Good morning, Doc. Good morning, Dr. Good morning, Wallach. sir. How can we help you? Um, I would, um, I've got some issues and I do understand, um, that, um, you can probably help me basically, uh, you, I am, let me see, I am six foot, six foot three. I weigh, uh, 260 pounds. I am 68 years old. I do have, um, white hair and it is thinning, um, I've, I've got a um, um, blood clot, clot conditions. I've got deep vein thrombosis. And in the past 10 years, I've had uh, four pulmonary embolisms. I do have um, glaucoma. I do notice um, floaters and like spots. My vision isn't clear up close. It's a bit blurry. I do, I do wear corrective glasses, but most of the times I take them off because they don't seem to do well for me. Do um, you have any high blood pressure, diabetes? You know, uh, I, I worked on my diabetes and I'm no longer diabetic. I'm, I do understand the sugar issues and the gluten and I'm, I'm just about off those completely. I realize that's a very necessity as far as the, um, mm -hmm. the food. And I, I work to have my plate about a quarter of the plate as protein and three quarters vegetables. I have vegetables at every meal. And um, okay, uh, do you have any skin? Do you have any skin problems? Uh, no, but I do oh. have spider veins on my around my ankles. Okay, well that goes along with white hair. Okay, white hair, silver hair. They're both the same nutritional deficiency, and they that causes a lot of problems. That, that nutritional deficiency is not, that, that, that doesn't occur because of aging. Um, let's see here. Also, um, do you have anything uh, going on with your bowels? Any constipation, diarrhea, anything like that? You know, I have no problems there. Um, okay, do you have any all. respiratory stuff at this point? Any asthma, bronchitis, COPD? Well, I, I, I basically the last 10 years, I've had four pulmonary embolisms. No, no, I'm talking about respiratory part. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, when I was a child, when I was before puberty, I did have uh, asthma, but that okay. left after. After you grew up. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Um, let's see here. I think that covers the Oh, do you have any ringing in the ears? Any balance problems, vertigo, balance problems, ringing in the ears? No, sir. Okay, good. All right. Do you have any dentures, implants for your teeth? I, I do. I do have some uh, root canals. And I do have, um, um, I can't think of what it's called now, but it's basically where they go into the bone and they put a, an anchor in there, then they, they put a, a, an appliance on top of it. Yeah, yeah an implant. Okay. Yes, right. sir. Implant. Well, here we go. Um, you need to get, at six foot three, 260 pounds, if you're a weightlifter and everything, you could be okay. But six foot three, I'd like to see you weigh about 230. Might be a little overweight, okay? And so you need to get off all the bad foods. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, no butter, no, no sugar, no carbonated drinks, even the diet ones gotta go. For energy, I want you to use our rebound or a sports drink with 100 nutrients in it, okay? 
and that's uh, totally different than the soft drinks. And I want you to use our salt. I want you to use our um, pink Himalayan salt because it makes um, it's the raw material for your stomach to make uh, stomach acid so it can digest properly and so forth. All right. And uh, gastroparesis stuff. Okay. Um, then I want you to, um, let's see here, understand that you probably have osteoporosis of the skull, which can cause glaucoma by squeezing the optic nerve, the optic artery, and the optic vein. And it's really not an eye problem. It's the skull squeezing the optic nerve, the optic vein, the optic artery, dealing with blood going in, blood coming out, and so forth into the eye uh, and out of the eye. All right. And then um, I want you to uh, take um, at 260, you're right at that cusp. If finances are not a problem, I'd have you take three healthy brain and heart packs per month, a full dose of everything, at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If finances are an issue, don't go any lower than two healthy brain and heart packs per month. The full dose of everything twice a day. But ideally, you would take a full dose three times a day until you lose that weight. Okay. And then uh, I also want you to have two bottles a month of our MSM. So you can take three with breakfast, three with lunch, three at dinner time. They're designed to support and promote maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the rotary bone rakes, bone itself. And uh, the, the healthy brain and heart pack that has the nutrients in it that are missing when you have blood clots. So the blood clot issue should be reduced significantly or even eliminated because you're gonna be taking those three, ideally you'll be taking those three healthy brain and heart packs. Uh, there's nutrients in there which will significantly reduce or prevent totally blood clots and, and um, that sort of stuff, okay? Um, and people say, well, well, why don't you tell me which one it is so I can just go get those? Well, that's because you'll be 89 sharp and, and <laughs> it won't work, okay? <laughs> right. you, need to take the, you need to take the whole picture. So for those people out there, I'm saying it the way I'm saying it so they won't just run out and buy that one nutrient, okay? Of course um, not. Okay. And then, uh, you know, you can get the books. You get the book, it's all in your head. Uh, which will go into that sort of stuff. Um, uh, that book covers 25 different diseases that are caused by osteoporosis of the skull. And then also uh, we have the book Epigenetics, which goes into oh, over, I don't know, several hundred different diseases that are caused by nutritional deficiencies. Uh, and so, you know, kind of, the, you, you need some information here. And then don't forget our new um, CD set, Health Crisis in the Church, two CDs. Uh, they're the soundtracks off of two Zooms I did in Texas on the subject of the, um, uh, the crisis with the COVID stuff, the Delta and the Omicron variants uh, in Texas in the churches and how it's affecting the church community and so on. And then uh, let's see here. Mm, let's see here. You have no diabetes, no high blood pressure, correct? Yes, sir. That's correct. Okay. And so, okay. Mm, 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 mm. Then um, one other thing, just for kicks, I think I said the Tucoid Z, three of those, three times a day. It's three at breakfast, three at lunch, three at dinner time. That'd be three bottles a month. Or if you want prefer the liquid form of the Tucoid Z, which is from the algae and, and that sort of stuff from the ocean, all the weird trace minerals and everything. Uh, you can get two quarts of the liquid Z radical and take an ounce at breakfast, ounce at dinner time. So either, either one of those will work. Don't forget our colloidal silver, two droppers full under your tongue, 30 minutes for each meal and 30 minutes for bedtime. It's gonna kill viruses, bacteria, fungus, and yeast. Don't forget our hand sanitizer. When you leave the house, you come back in the house, take that hand sanitizer with you, especially if you're gonna be eating out or visiting somebody and opening doors and, uh, in, the, in vehicles and uh, buildings and rooms and houses and bathrooms and so forth. And you know, like in the church, everybody goes in and out of the bathrooms Everybody's handling those doorknobs. And so you really need in a church, you need those hand sanitizers because there's so many people in there. Who knows which one or which ones are shedding virus because they have an active infection. Okay. And so with that, any, any last questions before we move on here? I really appreciate your time. I, I'll get started on this. Once I get started, um... Yeah, call us every two weeks. Yeah, call, okay. yeah, get back to us every two weeks, John, because people are yeah. going to want to know, well, whatever happened yeah. to that John guy? Okay. Yeah, once, once, yeah <laughs> it'll probably take me that a couple of weeks maybe to get all my all the supplements mm. and get going on. Okay. I thank you very much, doctor. Okay, God bless you, sir. Bless you also.
Okay, Rebecca. Let's just go ahead and move right on to Kathy. Kathy, go ahead and unmute yourself. And if you're able to turn a camera on and join us, that would be fabulous as well. Hi, um, actually, I don't have my camera set up right now, but my question is actually a veterinary question about- Okay, well, stop, stop a minute. Where are you from? I'm from Denver. Okay. That's the okay. Denver in Colorado? Yep, Denver, Colorado. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> what kind of veterinary question do you have? I have a um, not quite 10 year old Bengal mix. And um, now are you talking, is, wait a minute, are you talking about a, a pussy cat or are you talking? Okay, you're not talking about tiger. Yep, yep, the house cat kind. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, he was over the summer, he was diagnosed with um myotroph myotrophic uh let's see or hcm hypertrophic myocarpic myocarditis okay um the he is currently on pimodidin twice a day morning and night uh, a potassium supplement at night and uh, I have, uh, what does he weigh he weighs about 15 pounds okay big boy yeah he's a big boy he's he is a big boy. He's he's a little overweight, but he is about 16 inches from the collar to the base of his tail. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go uh -huh. ahead with this. Uh, okay. You know, we do we do have. Um, let's see here. Our Arthrodex for animals, and yep. it's uh, one one scoop one scoop yeah. for 20 pounds of body weight. So I'd go ahead and just give him one scoop since he has a health challenge here. I give him one scoop of our um, Arthrodex. I'd also get a bottle of our selenium. And open up the uh, the capsule and give him a, a capsule of um, of the um, of selenium, you know, the powder mixed in his food, as well as the Arthrodex. And it's one of those things where um, the myocarditis and and cardiomyopathy it's all the same disease, just different people call it different names, but it's all caused by nutritional deficiency. And um, this is easily within weeks, it goes away when you supplement properly. But read the, read the label on the cat food, make sure there's no gluten in there, make sure there's no wheat, butter, rye, or oats uh, in the cat food, and whether it's dry or canned, okay? I prefer the canned because you can mix in the, 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 the supplements and stuff like that easier. Um, all righty. Okay. Um, now he is on a, um, he uh, has shown some signs of beginning the kidney disease. So they do have him on a kidney diet. Okay. Um, then I just make sure that it's gluten-free. Okay. Got to read the labels, make sure it's gluten-free. And then, um, because they do have canned cat foods that are specially made for kidney disease cats. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, and then just make sure there's no gluten in it, no wheat, butter, or oats. And then um, it's one of those things where uh, if he does have kidney disease, then it wouldn't hurt also to throw in, let's see here, our uh, Ultimate Daily Classic tablets. just one of those. You have to, have to grind it up. It's a, it's a tablet. You have to grind it up and throw that in the food also. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Then give, give us a call every couple of weeks and then let us know how... how uh, our tiger is doing okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. You bet. Bye bye. Thank you, All Kathy, right. and thank you, Dr. Wallach. Let's move on to Charlene. Charlene, go ahead and unmute yourself. And if you're able to start video, that would be fantastic as well. Oh, you do have it. Okay, now try to unmute, Charlene. People move around on my little list. Let's try unmute one more time. Do you see a little pop up there? You should be able just to click the unmute microphone at the bottom of the screen. Do you see it? Charlene, wait, can you hear me? If you could do your head up and down. Yes, okay, go ahead and unmute my dear. All 
All right, well, while you're looking for that, we're gonna move to, I'm sorry, I'm not able to understand what you're, what you're saying. But let's, can you unmute? Do you see the unmute option? No? All right, well, keep looking for that. We'll come to you after Jill. So Jill. Did, did we just get done with Jill? This is another Jill. Oh, another Jill. This is another Jill. Hi, uh, can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am, go right ahead. Hi, Hi Dr. Wallach and Rebecca. Oh, I'm, I'm having a terrible echo. Oh, uh, can you hear me? Still it's a little bit. Uh, it's a little better, but it's still echoey. Hmm. Uh, Get closer or farther or something. Yeah, try moving just a little bit closer and that should help and go right ahead. Okay, how's that? Any better? Let's try it. It's, it's still echoey, but let's try it. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, I'll try to make it quick then. Um, so I am, let's see, I've got two uh, hopefully straightforward questions. I'm 127 pounds. Five. Okay, so we'll go back to the weight. How much is the weight? 127. Okay. Five, three and a half. Okay. 60, age 66. Um, I take no medications. Um, I'm on here. Do you color your hair? Yes, I do. And, I, and it is gray. Okay. Um, I take your supplements. Um, your, you know, like the Healthy Start Pack, plus a number of other things, you know, like mm -hmm. the MSM, mm -hmm. selenium, you know, a, a number of extra things on top of that. So, so what's your, what's your question? The, uh, well, two, two actually. Uh, so one, uh, in a recent uh, wellness check, my doctor said my thyroid level just went over the the high end of the normal range that is five, and she wants to immediately put me on medication. So okay, all right. Well, thyroid is very easy; it responds very quickly. Um, again, this is you're probably doing a lot of this, but this is for our listeners as well. Um, you need to get rid of all the bad foods: no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, no rye and oats, no sugar, no carbonated drinks. But also because you have a thyroid issue. You need to stay away from cruciferous vegetables, you know, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, or kale. You gotta stay away from them because they interfere with thyroid function. Then at 127 pounds, I want you to have one healthy brain and heart pack per month. Get another bottle of arselenium. There's one bottle of selenium in the healthy brain and heart pack, but I want you to get another bottle of arselenium so you can take six a day, uh, two, two, and two, or three and three, whatever is easier for you. Then I also want you to have our uh, Fucoid Z capsules. Take three of those twice a day, two bottles a month. I want you to take our Ocean's Gold capsules, take three of those twice a day, that's two bottles a month. And um, you'll notice your hair color will begin to come back. Um, and so that means you're absorbing. And the thyroid will show an improvement within 10 days to 14 days. And within, um, within uh, six to eight weeks, it'll be totally normal. So how long do you have to stay on this stuff? Well, how long do you need oxygen? How long do you need water? You need to stay on this stuff forever. This is not like, well, I can, I just need oxygen. You know, well, well, I have a cold. And then when I don't have a cold, I don't need oxygen anymore. You, you know, you need these things all the time. And the mistake people make is well, I was doing fine. And then, you know, three months after I stopped the supplementation, my problems all came back. Well, that's because you're still missing these nutrients. You know, they don't just come, you know, f from um, what they say, exercise exercise without supplementation is suicide right so that help you out yes yes okay, I, okay. I hope so i mean I, I, no you know. okay it gives you a program and yes. if you do if you follow all that and stay away from the bad foods so you can absorb everything then you're going to have a blessing all right okay thanks so much doctor okay thank okay. you jill bye bye-bye thank you jill and let's try Charlene one more time. Let's see if you can unmute. You should get a little pop-up that asks if you, or says that the host would like to unmute you and all you have to do is say yes or click yes. 
No? Let's move on. Mm, all right. Let's go to Jacqueline. Jacqueline, go ahead and unmute yourself. Hello? You are on live with Dr. Wallach. Hi, how are you? Hi. How can we help so, you? So I have, um, I am 195 pounds. I'm 38 years old. Um, I, at one point, was diagnosed with lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. However, I um, never had, like, Stop I, a minute. Stop a minute. You slurred there. Did, did you say rheumatoid arthritis? Yes. All right. Okay. And lupus. And lupus. Okay. Yep. And then um, I saw a rheumatologist for a while. I was on a ridiculous amount of medicine and I stopped all that and started taking like essential oils and for the most part, got rid of everything. However, once in a while I have really bad arthritis um, and it will be anywhere in my body. Um, my back is in excruciating pain from a herniated disc. And um, I also was diagnosed with really, really bad anemia. Okay. All right. These are all simple nutritional deficiencies. Diseases. Um, the only thing is I'm vegan. So there's that too. Okay. Even vegans need the 90 essential nutrients. Yep. Got it. Okay. Yep. So here we go. None of the bad foods, no fried foods, because you can still fry vegetables and grains and stuff like that can't do it. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, butter, rye, and oats, no wheat, butter, rye, and oats, no wheat, butter, rye, and oats. There are no gluten-free wheat, butter, rye, and oats. You have to eat like an Asian, eat rice and beans and squash. Got it? Yep. Okay. Then I want you to have eggs. There's no meat in eggs. I want you to have I'm three eggs. eggs. Oh, no, you're not. You know how oh. many different eggs there are in the market? You may be allergic to chicken eggs, but there's duck eggs, there's goose eggs, there's um, guinea eggs. You need eggs, otherwise you're in trouble, okay? Because you need the cholesterol, because you're not eating meat, so you need the cholesterol. Cholesterol makes up 75% of your brain weight. Cholesterol makes up 95% of estrogen, okay? So you need to go in that direction. Uh, then I want you to, let's see here. I want you to have, get rid of all the bad stuff. We just said that, none of the bad stuff. I'm recommending three eggs twice a day with soft yolk, soft boiled, soft poached, soft poached. Uh, um, and that little white dot that's one millimeter in diameter sitting on top of the yolk when you crack a raw egg, that's the chick. You can take that off and flush him down the toilet and say a prayer for him and bury him at sea kind of thing because the rest of the egg is all just plant material. Okay, the yolk of the egg and the white of the egg is nothing but plant material. There's no meat in the egg except in that one little disc is, is the chick. In, tw in 26 days, it'll be a chick with eyes and brain and muscles and heart and lungs. And it's, a, it's an amazing thing, that egg. But there's all these different eggs, okay? So try something really weird like, uh, like eggs from um, a ducks, duck eggs. Try that because you may be allergic to chicken eggs, but try duck eggs. Okay, so anyway. Then I want you to, uh, when you have lupus, is this a skin problem and respiratory? No, it's mostly um, like arthritis wise and um, sometimes like asthma and stuff. Well, that's a lung problem. Okay, asthma is a lung problem. Okay, all right. So then I want you to um, take, let's see, at 195 pounds, I want you to take two healthy brain and heart packs per month. Two healthy brain and heart packs per month. A full dose of everything twice a day. And then I want you to have two bottles a month of our MSM. I want you to take uh, three of those with breakfast, three with lunch, three at dinner time. And they're designed to support and promote maintenance repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, discs between the vertebrae, bone makes your bone itself. Okay, it's all back stuff and hip stuff and joints all over the place. Um, you require that stuff that's in the MSM. Also, you want to get our collagen peptides, which is cartilage and ligaments and tendons and connective tissue. There's no meat in there. Is there There's shellfish? Because I'm allergic to shellfish no, as well. No shellfish. I'm just telling you, it's, it's, it's made from um, fish, you know, with scales, not shellfish, but fish with scales. Um, um, and also from, um, uh, let's see here, uh, poultry, sheep, and beef, okay? And you can put a scoop of that you start out, you know, gingerly put a, start out with a half a scoop in your drink in the morning, start out with a half a scoop 
a drink in the evening, um, but you know, your supplement drink, but you really want to work towards getting a full scoop of that collagen peptides at breakfast and dinner. All righty. And then uh, let's see here, vitamin D3. I want you to take three of those twice a day. Where do you live? Colorado. Okay. And so, yeah, Colorado's good, uh, but you still need the vitamin D3, three of those twice a day. So you can absorb the minerals and put them in all the proper places. Um, if you need something for topical pain relief, we have the CM cream and we also have the Soothe, which is a little pump bottle. It's our CBD oil to make Dr. Oz jealous. Okay. And um, uh, let's see here. I think that's where you want to go. My question is, I still have to take these things, even though I'm vegan, like I, I, I can't. Well, then suffer. Okay. There's no other, there's no other options. Either you, you, you take the nutrients to solve the nutritional deficiencies or you have to suffer and you just take the pain relief, but it'll take 50% of your life off. Okay. The nutrients are required to maximize your lifespan. If you're prepared to give up 50 years of your life and be miserable between now and then, then don't take the supplements as your choice, but there's no other options. All right, thank you. Okay. See, you're getting a coaching back there. <laughs> um, all right, thank you, Jacqueline. Hopefully that was beneficial. It does make a world of difference. Let's yeah, let's yeah. It's one, of, it, 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 it's one of those things where extremely limiting your diet and expecting to not have to supplement is, is not, you know, reality. All right, Dr. Wallach, we have Jane back with us. Jane, go ahead and unmute yourself. Jane? Jane, we only have about five minutes, Dr. Wallach. So how are okay. you doing, Jane? Um, I guess I'm at the point of suffering. I suddenly got ill and I, I just couldn't even take the, the, the 90 essential vitamins. I, I've cut it down to uh, one. Uh, okay, we'll start out. Stop. Let's. Go. I see you have white grain silver hair. Oh yeah. So, I, yeah. So what else you got going? Well, if I take the whole line of vitamins, I've I've actually been throwing up at dinner. I just I suddenly am collapsing and can't. Okay. Okay. Stop. Okay. Now, do you have a balance problem? Is your, are you collapsing because of a balance problem or a weakness? It's a, my, again, my bottom legs are not weak. very good. They're, they're weak. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and I'm trying to take the uh, MSM okay. and the, the sweeties. And the okay, well, don't, don't, don't start with a full dose and start out with one tablet twice a day. All right, just start out with one of, go back to one of each. Mm -hmm. All right. You got to start somewhere, right? Pardon? And I say you have to start somewhere because, yeah, yeah because you're, if you're falling at your age, how old are you? Um, I just turned 80. Okay, good girl. Well, at 80, you fall down, you break something, you're dead. Okay, and so you don't want to be falling down and all that kind of stuff. So you need strength to be able to maintain yourself. Do you use a walker or a cane or anything like that? No, no. You need to get yourself a walker or a cane so that you have some support so you don't fall down and break something, then you'll really be in trouble. Okay, so here's, um, for our listeners, uh, how much do you weigh? I'm down to around 106. And 106. I, I've had problems with the now, zinc. Just, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you say 166 or 106? No, 106. 106, okay. All right. So I want you to get rid of all the bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat, no brown rhino, no sugar, no carbonated drinks so you can absorb the nutrients. Then I want you to have one healthy brain and heart pack per month, take a half a dose of everything twice a day, start out there. And then I also want you to get the MSM and start out with one tablet twice a day, start out there. I want you to get the collagen peptides, uh, start out with a, a half a teaspoon in your morning drink and your evening drink. Uh, that's going to help you with your immune system, but also your bone marrow, so you can make plenty of red blood cells and platelets. You ever get any bleeding under your skin, anything like that? No. 
Okay, good. Are you ever anemic? Um, I could be. I haven't really had a full blood test. I don't okay. really have okay. a full-time physician. So. Well, that's good. You don't want a full-time physician. You want a <laughs> once-in-a-lifetime physician. Okay. Uh, okay. So, at any rate... A half a teaspoon, is you mean a regular half or a half a scoop? No, I want you to start out with a half a teaspoon twice a day of the collagen peptides. You want to grow into a scoop twice a day. But start out with a half. Right. Because you okay. said you're having difficulties in taking supplements. Absolutely. So you start, out with a, you start out with a small dose to begin with and get used to that and you'll improve. And then you can go up a step and go up a step until you're at the full dose, okay? Right. Don't don't just jump from zero to a full dose when you're having problems. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And I should do the sweeties and the. Uh, Are you a diabetic? I think I'm a pre-diabetic. Okay. Do you fall asleep after you eat? I do sometimes. Yes. Okay, that's reactive hypoglycemia. That's a pre-diabetes thing, so it wouldn't hurt to get a a bottle of sweeties. So you can take one of those twice a day. Start out with one sweeties twice a day. And let's see here. Any blood pressure issues? Yes, I've had blood, blood pressure yeah. issues forever. Okay. Okay. So then you want to take one, um, uh, let's see, one ultimate daily classic tablet twice a day, one at breakfast, one at dinner time, and then work up. But that'll be a place to start. And it's going to support a healthy blood pressure. And, and, um, through the diabetes of sweeties, one of those twice a day, that's going to help healthy blood sugar levels. All right. And then, you know, give us a call every couple of weeks or anytime you have a question. And, but I would suggest you get a cane or a, you know, a little aluminum walker. They only weigh like two pounds or not heavy or anything like that, but they have four legs and you're able to, you know, walk, uh, uh, without, uh, well, I should say you walk, being able to reduce the risk of falling when you have one of those walkers. Okay. And I produce the zinc, it, whatever, I was not getting your product, but my own. And it, I, I, I don't taste things as much, but that made me sick. Okay, well, zinc is, is also oftentimes used, we have a lozenge, we have a little lozenge, you know, put it in your mouth and it's like about a half inch in diameter and a quarter inch thick. And um, uh, it's one of those things where Zinc supports very specific reactions in your immune system. And mm -hmm. so with all, uh, it wouldn't hurt, you know, to try and cut one of those in, into a quarter to have like a little, little chunk of the zinc and see what that does. But don't forget our colloidal silver, a dropper full under your tongue, 30 minutes for each meal, um, a dropper full under your tongue, 30 minutes for bedtime. Don't forget our hand sanitizer. And of course we have the ancient legacy with all of these various uh, herbs and uh, oils and stuff like that. You want to kind of look at that. Um, I use a lot of those oils from from ancient legacy. I put the eucalyptus. Um, I put five or six drops of eucalyptus in my hat, and that kind of keeps the bugs away, that kind of thing. And then, of course, I use a hand sanitizer. I use a colloidal silver, and I take all my supplements. And I'm 83. Okay, so let's hear from you every couple of weeks. Uh, because there's seniors who want to know what's going on and want to hear how you're doing. So we look forward to hearing from you, okay? All right. Thank you, Jane. We look forward to you feeling so much better next week. And Dr. Wallach, we are at the end of the program. And we just want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. Now, we did have Carrie um, go ahead. Well, yeah, Carrie put in a comment that says, I love it when Dr. Wallach is direct. When he told me what to do my, for my mom after her heart attack, he said that if she followed all the medical device, she'd be dead in five years. I said, Dr. Wallach, that's so blunt. And he said, well, I'm not here to sugarcoat it. I'm here to save her life. And Carrie says she loves you so much for being so blunt. So, and, <laughs> and so we love I. you. We love you, you back, Carrie. <laughs> I love you too, Rebecca. <laughs> well, on behalf of Ask Doc Live, thank you everybody for being here with us. This is a program that you are able to share with others, and we do hope that you do. My co-host, John T. McCollier, who gets all the electronic stuff running and keeps it smooth, and also our web designer, 
Thank you so much, Jaunty. Thank you, Ruth Ellen Sanchez, for keeping everything flowing within the chat and Nasima Omar as well, and all of her little helpful hints that she sends me. Um, everybody <laughs> does. Keeps me going. But Ask Doc Live, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. We will see you next time. And again, check out askdoclive.com for all of our replays, Dr. Bye -bye. Wallach's books and the Longevity products. Bye for now.